Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, are you decisive or are you indecisive? Do do you approach decision-making with confidence or are you racked with concern? Uh, You know, in my years in ministry, I've known many Christians who love Jesus, who want to follow and serve God, but who are afraid of making wrong decisions. They agonize before God about who to marry or where to live or what to do with their lives. And, and, and they just they get caught in this place where they're paralyzed by their fear of making a wrong decision. Well, I've got a verse for you today that I hope will give you courage and will confront your fears, uh, especially as they relate to decision makings or really just about anything in life. Romans 8, 28 is a wonderful promise from God that says this, For we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love him and to those called according to his purposes. So if you love Jesus and if you know that you're a child of God and and he's called you his child, then then here's the thing. You don't have to fear making decisions. You go, well, 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 I don't want to disappoint God. I want to do the right thing. That's great. Look, God promises to redeem your life, your situations, and even your decisions good decisions or bad decisions, whether you go the right direction or the wrong direction, whether you make a a, a terrific, wise choice or whether you make a horrific decision, God is in the midst of your life and he's there and he's not going to abandon you and he's already promised that he's going to cause all things to work together for good because you love him, because he's called you to his purposes. Now, I say that not wanting you to live life flippantly like it doesn't matter what I do. It does matter what you do. And Scripture counsels us to make wise decisions. But here's the thing. If you love Jesus and you're trying to honor Jesus, make the best decision you can in that moment and trust that God will work out the details. Let me say that again. Make the best decision that you can to honor God and then let God work out the details. Because he's involved in your life and he promises to redeem your life and redeem your situations. He doesn't cause your situations, but he's there in the midst of it. Whether it's a situation that's because of a poor decision on your part or a poor decision on someone else's part or just a random tragic moment, God is there in the midst and he is redeeming and he promises to always redeem. And here at Calvary, we celebrate God's redemption. We know that life is a mess. We know that we make mistakes. We know that other people make mistakes. But we know above all of those things that God is redeeming us. And of course, in Jesus, he has redeemed us for all eternity. And no matter how difficult or tragic things get in this life, the best is still ahead of us. So uh, if you're struggling about decisions or about this life or anything that's going on, I hope today that you will take comfort in the reality the clearly stated reality that God is in the midst of your life and he is working to redeem you. And because of that, you will live without fear, you'll embrace courage, and you'll praise God. I hope and pray that this helps you, and I pray that you have a blessed day.